Gods versus C. C is a uh, West Palette Chester. Palette. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Where, where did I say they were from? Westchester. West oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, I mean, John Numbers, definitely no stranger to the Palutena matchup. Of course, we have Jen, who comes out quite often and you know really wrecks house when, when they do. But we'll see how C can uh, bring things in against our resident WeFit, John Numbers. Okay, that was a little, a little close there, John. Yeah, for sure. It seems like the F-Smash just pushed John right out of the way. Uh, yeah, it does so. have that win box. Yep, yep. So got a little bit lucky there. Okay, it's soccer funny. ball to go under the auto reticle right now. You know what, Armor? One thing I wanted to mention is that I'm a bit confused by Wii Fit. Right. And I know there's a lot of reasons to be confused by Wii Fit, but one thing is why is Wii Fit spiking a soccer ball? Shouldn't it be a ball? Well, no, she does it with her head. Oh. That's why it's called header. Oh, I didn't even catch that. I yeah. thought she was spiking it with her hands. I was like, why is she spiking a soccer ball with her hands? That must be painful. It's not like using your head is any better, but... Ooh, speaking of painful, using the soccer ball to extend the hitbox of what? the F Smash and getting the reverse hit of it, too, to just really explode C's first stock. But C right now working on some edge guarding of his own. Ooh, kind of a risky counter right there. Only getting 15% out of it. So, you know, not getting punished too hard for it. Yeah. All right, looking to pressure John at ledge again, but see, hasn't quite found many like super meaningful openings. Yeah. It seems like John's very privy to what Palatine is looking for at ledge. Throwing out that back air is very tough to pick up. All right, we're doing some, we're doing some yoga here, doing some stretching, avoiding all these moves. Uh, you can't avoid the explosive flame, my goodness. That time, though, you know, John was ready for the first uh, explosive flame in that exact same scenario, yeah. but getting caught off guard the second time. And see, only taking 30% extra credit, but deep breathing, making sure that that did not last very long. Yeah, John's fine. He's yeah. <laughs> Weep his recovery. But C trying to bring this back to almost even. Ooh, almost getting the uh, spacing. I feel like John wanted that sun salutation to also cover um, the platform, and also you can already see the awareness from John looking to catch um, platform cancels. Mm. That's something you always have to be aware of in the pla uh, the Palu matchup, yeah, because they are going to be looking for that, especially on a the platform centric uh, layout like Smashville. But see, bring the bring things to even right now, but a back air out of shield. You got to be careful when you're. Uh, Right, like right behind right. Uh, Wii Fit. Did John even have uh, deep breathing when he no. hit that back air? That's crazy. He just exploded. That back air is strong. <laughs> it just keeps forward airing. Yeah. There's the true and true back air on ledge by C. Oh, yeah, and you know, John's going to be ready for that uh, down air attempt from C's. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Doing the worm? All right. I respect it. Yeah, C has been getting caught by a lot of these soccer balls, it's like from ledge. All right, has deep breathing online right now. See, if John can find a reversal, he finds the down air. And I think he was looking for a back air from the platform, yeah. but the invincible shield coming through for C. But things to even stocks, but 104 on C right now, he's, he's gonna have to be really careful. Yeah, especially with deep breathing on deck. Watch out for the soccer ball. All right, let's see what John can do here. Oop. The phantom hit on the neutral air. Just barely shaving John's head, but John looked like he got hit by that in real life. John was very surprised at that. He looked like he was in a trance and he yeah. just woke up. For sure. Oh. Once where, the walk come I? off, now he's back to reality. Is I just playing Smash Bros? Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> Well, good first match here. Good first game by John Ambers and C. Getting some of the replay here. John Ambers <laughs> really utilizing the planking. Yeah. Not not like traditional smash planking, but like more literal planking literal, against the yes. ground. <laughs> yes, yes, literal planking. That was super interesting to see. But uh, John Numbers really had a handle on this matchup. Like you said, very familiar playing with other Pallies in the region. Um, but it looked like John was really able to avoid everything that uh, C was looking for. So let's see how that progresses in game two. Yeah, it feels like C is really going to have to work on mixing up his approaches, because you can even see, like, 
the way that John was crouching a lot, yeah. he was ready for like C to kind of autopilot his uh, his neutral and his offense. Right. So I feel like that's really where C wants to switch things up in this game too. Yeah. Ooh, all right, getting a little bit greedy there. John looking to tag C with the hula hoops on his way up. Not quite finding it, but getting a little bit of percent out of it. Getting deep breathing once more and weaving just out of the way again. John is ready for it practically every time. Hummer, are you a bit surprised by this pick by C to go to, um, uh, sorry, what's the name of the stage? Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion, sorry. It, it, you know, similar, pretty much similar layout to Smashville, so. I mean, I feel like it's still a really good Palu stage yeah. just because the, um, the, the center platform layout yep. gives Palutena so much scrapping potential as well as a lot of wacky stuff with platforms. Right. And I feel like at the end of the day, the, the change has to come from the player yeah. in yeah. this matchup. Absolutely. I was curious because very similar stage layouts and after losing game one, you think maybe we'll try mm. something else out. But, you know, looking like a pretty closely contested game two again, just as game one was. <laughs> John. John, you're evil right now. He just keeps crouching and see is having really having trouble finding a way around it. Back airing right through the header though. Catching John getting a little bit too greedy right there. Gonna see if C can keep up this offense. Ooh, all right. Nicely done there by C. Let's see if yeah, some more uh, scrapping situations right there. You are you saw once again John. Throwing out the crouch, just keeping things low. That time punishing the down smash, though. But C, once again, I feel like C hasn't really been able to find any huge combo starters. That movement right. by John was insane, by the way. John is the, cooking. The wave land onto the platform, into the grab, looking like a different video game. Oh, well, all right, this time there. going low, though. Not looking for the spike like we've seen before. John with the mash, though, again. John's got a great mash. Deep breathing online, but C just pushes right through. I feel like uh, John wasn't really expecting that. Right. C doing a good job here of pushing the pace against John, trying to not let John set up all his crazy tactics, but the still going to do it. crouch once again. It just keeps happening, and it doesn't stop from happening. Stop it, John. <laughs> It's working out so far I'm, in this match, so it's pretty wild. I'm so mad. I you know what? Me. Actually, maybe there's a bit of... Obviously, there's a lot of thinking that John Numbers does, but oh. perhaps the thought with crouching so often is that Palu needs to get that initial nair to start that chain, right? So if you're that low to the ground, it's going to be kind of hard to catch Oh, absolutely. Like yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of been the story of this set so far. Kind of why C hasn't been able to get those meaningful combo starters when he does eventually win neutral. <laughs> All right. John, you deserve that. <laughs> just just say No, I'm playing. I'll play it. <laughs> Getting a little bit tricky with oh. the platform movement right there. And finally, this is the first Nair train that we've seen the entire set. That's because John wasn't crouching. Uh, yeah. Come on, John, John. Why weren't you crouching? John needs to stick with the strat. I think C is starting to recognize some of the options that John is going for. And great turnaround grab. Yeah, C bringing things to almost even right now. John at ledge, though, with deep breathing. Ooh, nice right there. Gonna see if C can keep up this aggression and make sure that John can't Ooh. make too much use of the deep breathing. But John correctly reading the That's platform tough. cancel. That one was a little little telegraphed. Right. And now see at 138, the up air out of the Sun Salutation Charge is going to be taking it for John Numbers. So he really started to get some momentum there at the end, but it was unfortunately just a little bit too little too late and a kind of autopilot um, platform cancel. For sure. It really put C in, in range to, to, to lose it. Yeah, well, great match by both. I mean, for C to keep up with one of our, you know, one of Zeno's finest, John Numbers. It was pretty awesome to see. Uh, it's hard to commentate C's matches when you have to yeah, say I that know, word just, so often. God, you just got to see so what silly. C is up to. Oh, my goodness Out gracious. on the great blue sea. <laughs> here we are on an island in Manhattan. Not next to the sea, but C is here. 
C is here doing C, C. things. Um, see, let's see what C will do on selling seashells by yeah, the seashore. By, yeah, exactly. C, a Palatena, 